My puppies, <laughs> they're normally bolting around. They're normally running around like loonies, but they're nice and relaxed. That's what I like to see, nice and relaxed. Not running around the house like lunatics. So that's the puppies this morning. I'm sure they're going to start running about. So, lovely and relaxed, drying up. Lovely and relaxed. She's off look. There's not much really bothers her. That's what she likes to do. Sleep and relax. And back. Sometimes. Oh, I'm having a good scratch. As you know guys, they live outside. They're in the house all day. Most of the night. Then when it gets later on. 8, 10 o'clock. Depending what time we go to bed. 12 o'clock, then they go out. She, she'll she come in and she'll go to sleep under there. Mm, she's relaxed. It's absolutely lovely to see them relaxed because they're normally barking at that door, scratching that door and they can't wait to get in. So, looks like they're nice and relaxed. I have to feed them more before they go to sleep at night. So that's um, that's the puppies. So that's the volcano. Have a great day. Take care. God bless, guys. Hi, guys. Great morning. Wow. It's very, very hot this morning, guys. Right, so this is what we're doing. I've been on Rock Collection. What we're doing is we're, deep, we're pulling all the tomato plants up. It's a voiceover. There's a lot, a lot of music here in the province. So what I'm doing is I'm deep, I've pulled all the tomato plants up because it doesn't look like they're doing very, very well at all. Yeah, they're growing big, but they're just not producing tomatoes. Leaving that plant in, it's a lovely plant. It's a nice flowering plant. So I'm trenching here. And I'm going to fill this trench once it's dug out with leaf mould. So I'm going to put pebbles around the rocks. So I'm going to put rocks around the rocks. You'll see just to keep it from, just to keep the soil from falling out. And it makes it look a lot nicer. So I'm digging out and I'm going to put all compost or well rotted down green leaves. So anything what's green, green leaves, uh, it's all going in guys. So these tomato plants, they're going back in the trench, I'll break them up. I'll line them all in the trench, then on top of there they'll go leaves. So all your dry leaves, and then on top of the dry leaves, I've got some really good soil, some really good compost. So I'm going to put some good compost leaf mould on top. Absolutely beautiful stuff. And then I'm going to, like I said, it's going to get a lot of rocks around. And then I'm going to fill the gaps. So that's it, guys. Greens. So anything what's green, normally leaves, any plants, any green branches, I snap them up, break them up, let them rot down, throw some sacks over them, just let them rot down. And you've got absolutely nature, mother nature, best compost. Organic, well rotted down, real compost. I chat about compost. These guys here, they always go past. They're asking for money all the time. I've told them, get a job. They just keep laughing. You know, it gets a bit annoying but when people just keep asking for money all the time and I've told these guys, I'm going to have to have a chat to these guys and explain to them, you need to get a job guys it's very hot here and you need to work doesn't matter what the job is, if it's an okay job, you need a job and that's how you get your money unless you've got a fantastic skill you know, so guys, hard times, you're just going to have to work like we did when we were kids. So, that's it. This is the dog, Lexi. No, this is Phyllis. 
She's not been feeling very well actually. No, no, neither has the other one. So I don't know what they've been eating. I mean, they do eat. Maybe they're eating too much. I don't know. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to put rocks round, and then some of these actually want transplanting because it's not fantastic soil. It's a bit clayey, and it dries out with the soil. So it actually does need better soil. So one of these plants, I actually, I do actually take one of these plants out and I put better soil in half, you know, 50-50. So half of the pot's got better soil in, the other half's got the natural one in, which is a bit hard and not exactly, it's a bit clay, not fantastic. So this is your best stuff. Let that rot down, the worms will eat it, and then, you know, worm cast. So worm droppings, so the worms, the worms will eat this. So that's what it's getting in there. It's getting a lot of greens on top of the really good soil, guys. And then leaves. And then good soil on top. And the black soil is actually well-rotted leaves. You know, now you might think a leaf's a leaf. In a leaf, there's everything. Mother Nature, a leaf when it falls off a tree. And it basically dies and it goes very crumbly. It's full of... It, it's full of everything for a plant. There's that many enzymes. If you want to grow good seeds, if you want to grow good plants, leaves, these dried leaves, just crush them up in your hands. You know, you can't you can't buy it. It's free. You go and buy a load of rubbish from the shop, you're buying chemicals, you feed your plant on chemicals, you pollute your soil. All free, Mother Nature. Break the leaves up, guys. And that's all free, and it's the best stuff. You cannot beat it. Mother Nature, Mama Nature designed all these trees. You know, what happens is they do shed the leaves quite a lot, and the leaves fall on the floor, and that feeds your plants. And it feeds your worms, and your worms are very, very good for your soil. So these rocks are going all the way around the rocks that are already in and then if there's any gaps I actually put another rock in there a smaller rock and then I pack the soil up the sides so I don't know what I'm planting but I do know I'm getting this bed so this this trench I'm getting it ready for when I want to plant I think more tomatoes are going in so that's what's going in but I'm going to space them a foot apart so when I grow some tomato plants, they're going in there. I'll never have to feed them because the soil is that good. So I'll never have to feed them, never have to buy any chemical feed. So it'll all be organic. And it's all absolutely wonderful stuff. Absolutely beautiful. So that's what we're doing this morning. Like I said, guys, I've been on rock collection. Luckily, I've collected quite a few good rocks. And it's going to help me here this morning. Yeah, breaking it all down. That little trench there actually now is full of black soil, leaves. And the tomato plants are pulled up. I gave them a couple of weeks, three or four weeks. And they'll have actually, they'll have rotted down. Don't forget, you know, the worms will eat. The worms will eat it and make it into black soil. Absolutely fantastic soil. So that's what. That's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow as well. I need to get back on that job tomorrow. And I need to do all that trench and I need to fill it. It's not fertiliser. It's not getting fertiliser. I do not buy plant fertiliser. I will let the leaves rot down. Anything that Any green branches, green leaves, let it rot down for a couple of months. And I'll put a sack over the top and let the rain get to it because that's what it needs to rot and break down. It needs rain, it needs oxygen and then the worms will come up and the worms will do the fantastic job of making that into black soil. So you need lots of worms in that soil guys. So that's what we're doing. You can see I put a few rocks around. That's full of leaves now. It's going to get some soil on top. And the same thing with the other trench, it's all gonna get it's all gonna get good compost in there. 
And what I mean by compost, I mean natural organic compost. And that's all leaf mould. And the soil is normally very, very black. And it's, it's really good stuff. I'm also going to drop a bit of sand. Some of the, na some of the normal stuff I've taken out, I'm going to drop some sand in it. A couple of, you know, quite a bit of sand in there. What's already been in there. Because it all... Holds the it holds the damp, so you know it's quite hot and dry here. So I need that soil to hold moisture. So I need it to be quite wet, and the sand will hold the it'll hold the wet. Plus this black soil, same. It's really good for holding water. So it's feeding the plants and it's got the water. It's holding the water. So fantastic stuff. So how nice is that? Absolutely lovely. And that's your black soil leaves, rotten leaves. So I do uh, every morning or a couple of mornings a week, three week, three, two or three, three or four days a week. I collect leaves and I throw them. I throw them at the side of the fence and I throw a bag over them. When they rot down, this is what you get. This is black soil. It's full of enzymes. The, it's live soil. That is live soil. There's more. Uh, there's more nutrition, more food, more enzymes in that soil. You cannot buy. You cannot buy it. That is the best stuff, Mother Nature. So that's black gold. In other words, it's just so good. You can't beat it. And greens, right? Why greens when uh, is a better compost? Then say carabao, manure, rabbit manure. Yeah, it's all good manure, but and it's not bad here in the Philippines because you've you know you have you've not got thousands and thousands of carabaos on a field, like in England you've got hundreds and hundreds of cows on a field, and that pollutes it pollutes your water system. When it rains, guys, what happens is. The rain goes onto the field and it washes all the... It's not the same here in the Philippines because you just you just haven't got a lot of cackle here to pollute the water. So that's what happens in the UK because there's so many cows in the UK on the fields. When it rains, it washes all the manure. In other words, cow muck. You've got me drift. So, and it washes it and it washes it down into the soil then it goes all, it works its way all the way under the soil and it goes into the rivers, pollutes the rivers. So that's what happens in England, guys. But in the Philippines, as far as I know, you know, the rivers are not getting polluted. So I should be fine here in the, in the Philippines. And Carabao, you know, manure should be quite good. I don't know how good it is. It's not as good as leaves. Leaves do not pollute. You know, anything green, it'll shrivel up, it'll go into it holds a bit of it holds a bit of moisture, it does not pollute the water table. So that's what's so good about greens. And like I said, Mother Nature designed it, you just cannot beat leaf mould, you know, anything what's green, you just can't beat it, and the worms will eat it. So it's fantastic guys. So that's what we're using here. Like I said, it's very, very hot. It's a pity it's a voiceover, but there's just that much music. So I hope you're all fine. Please like and subscribe. Please share the videos, guys. Watch till the end. I'll do another video when I get ready to fill, fill that trench with some really nice soil. And then I've got to grow some plants to put in there. So it'll be a week or two before it gets planted. But at least... It's ready, you know, it's up and it's ready to go. And if it gets weeds in it, I'll dig it over, turn it over, then I'll plant it. I'll put some pebbles where every plant's going, some rocks will go where every plant's going. And then I'll just 